Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're tackling an interesting question from our community. The question is, can we read a table from a network URL or an external command using Julia's dataframe.read table? It seems like this function only supports reading from files, but let's explore the possibilities together. Welcome back to another technical video. We're gonna go through the question, the answer, and I hope that you get the solution. Guys, I hope you stay crazy just a little bit like me and work your way through to getting to that end resolution. Let's get started. To read a table from a network URL or an external command in Julia, we can use the HTTP and IO packages. Let's start by installing the necessary packages. Next, we can read data directly from a URL using the HTTP package. Here's how you can do it. For reading from an external command, we can use the run function along with read to capture the output. Here's an example. Finally, Ensure that the data types are correctly set when creating the data frame. You can specify column types as needed. In summary, you can read tables from both URLs and external commands in Julia using the HTTP and IO packages. This allows for flexible data handling. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To read a CSV file from a stream in Julia, you can use the HTTP package to make a GET request. This replaces the older request package. Here's a quick example. First, import the necessary packages, then make a request to the CSV file URL. After fetching the data, create an IO buffer from the response body and finally read the data into a data frame. And that's it guys. I hope the video helped find the resolution that you're looking for and you got the answer and worked your way through. If it did, please hit subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.